<clears throat> Man, this is day two, part two, whatever it is. Chit, Lin Chit, Chats. <laughs> now, let's talk about love today, you because know, it's one of the key, it's, it's not one of the key, you know, I mean, it's the love, is it's, it's not even an element. It's everything, it's everything. Without love, whatever you got, just, it's nothing. Because, uh, you know, just like I got this people, like I got weed here, like I got some, uh, what is this? Some doogie or something, some bugs crawling all over it. What is that? That is nasty. Well, you know, I don't love that, so it's nothing to me. And so I love my, uh, I love the, my, uh, what call it, it's Kehong, Kehong is permission, permission. Yeah, and it looks like a uh, mix between an orange and an apple. There's my blueberries here. Okay. Yeah, I love my blueberry tree. See, I got something. My fake tree, I love them. That's why I got some right here. You know, and then you see this mosquito somewhere around here? Mosquitoes, yeah. Mosquitoes somewhere. Mosquitoes, yeah. I don't like them. So, you know, whatever you have love, you see it every day. And you call. <clears throat> uh, that's how it works now. Let me sit down somewhere. But you know, just every day is 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 is. We wake up, uh, and we first thing we just we always want to do is just see and look around where our love is at. You know what I mean? Uh, well, that's when I wake up. I always make sure baby's there, everyone's there, uh, and then. Uh, then experience this morning, morning uh, wait, glory, morning glory. <laughs> I would tell morning glory, man. People are just, just they just dirty that wood so much. But it's like this: it's like early rise in the morning at six in the morning. Sometimes I'm lucky getting out at seven, eight. But uh, mosquitoes come around after they come out around uh, seven thirty eight. Come out here and breathe all this life coming waking up, you know? all this life waking up. And here and all this waking sounds and waking lights, and waking just waking up. Everything's waking up, and uh, while a lot of people are still sleeping. And they just wake up at a uh, a time when everything, everybody, everything is really just walk. Uh, there's no more. There's not much. Not uh, there's not good energy. No energies. Not much energy left to observe. Absorb into uh, your thoughts to create that observation. That's what I would observe and observe. This is. It's, it's different, but it's uh, one is one is is physical, one is mental. But with physically, with physical, mental plays the role into to, into into uh, defining how physical feels. So it's all it's all inside world and outside world. It's like yeah, everything is 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 just one, but within one is two. Like with with me. It takes two to create me, mom and dad, female or male. And that's how it becomes in threes. But, yeah, with love, with love, like to anything, you know, you want to have it with you. Like you would, with you. Like when you marry somebody, or you be with somebody, you be with somebody, you marry with you marry with somebody. So it's the word with is a key word. 
And people forget the word with, and they become using, using uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, the belong, belong. Uh, that's my wife. Uh, I mean, like they, that's like the word my. Uh, like it belongs to you. That's possession. Whatever you claim as belonging, or uh, it's, 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 a, it's a type of uh, possession that least that is very very uh, critical to uh, uh, that's very bad to uh, to, uh, to relationship sooner or later, and that's what causes many problems because possessions. The possession is, it becomes jealous, it, it arises jealousies, hatred, and uh, comparisons, and, uh, and, uh, and obsessions, and that's how you get those psycho X uh, mentalities. Yeah, because uh, we started out with just thinking, uh, putting a spell on each other, we're slapping that, that possession spells. You belong to me, I belong to you. Or whatever. No, don't say that. I mean, you belong, and that's what they can, they can tell you. What they can tell you to do, what the hell they want to tell you to. And then you should wonder why. So you sign the contract when you say, "I belong to you," or "You belong to me." Whoever belongs to whoever belongs, you know, go and get the ass whooped later if they don't do what they belong to do. But remember, you gotta understand stand up. Gotta understand that uh, uh, what I just say about that first before you can re- before you can uh, apply the keyword with after you, when you when you can really consider about it you know you have to really affirm it by constantly like whenever you you, you use the word belong correct it correct it correct it and then when you say I'm with you. I'm with you. I got, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. So when we live in life, we marry. We all go in the same, the same direction, going together. But but we can have different path. It's my path. It's my path. That I can only the only one that I can walk is on my path is me. And I'm walking on my path. So respect that path. Just like, just like uh, your partner's path. You know? Respect her path. You can't tell people, you can't tell them how to walk their path. But you can walk with them, you know, and guide them, help them, show them, but never tell them what to do and how to do it and force them to do against their will unless they needed your help. <clears throat> but that mutual understanding is that's how you, you can accomplish and, and sign, seal, and bond that contract that will that is marriage. Marry with you. We I'm with you. We live together. I'm living with you. I'm not living for you. I'm not doing for you. I'm not belong to you, and you don't belong to me. All that, say all that out. You, know, you gotta sit together and we just say it out. Both both probably gotta understand really to make this work as really good as it make it work because one can understand it, the other one don't understand it. Uh, it's hell is gonna go on the other one. Why wow, I'm just just feeling bad for her, for. Her. Or what you got, or what they got to go through, uh, but and what can you do about it? You just gotta protect yourself. But you gotta be that that light on on your partner that is in the dark. That's how you live with each other, so you know she can see my light. Maybe one day walk out of that darkness and join join me walking on this nice little little path I, I made myself and all this. Thing I've been doing, but it's it's because I have fears, the fears of the partner. You know, they've been in the dark so long, and then they they just scared to. They just don't they don't see. They they don't even see the light no more. Sometimes 
there's a lot of false lights, you know, so they've, they've uh, like televisions and, and, and all these, these uh, crazy ass people who would tell them and influence them. Just with a weak mind, you know, it's easy to be manipulated, to believe in certain ways that, that they would never even understand why they are. Uh, they cannot get out of it because they apply ignorance. Ignorance. Ignorance is what is the is is the seal. Is the bomb, is, is what sealed the spell. Believe in something so much, but then you still can. You st but then you still have that. that yeah, that that. Uh, you used to have that, that, that question, but I believe it so much, uh, you don't question no more. It's a fear of losing the belief. And that fear of losing belief, do not question what you believe. And now what kind, what is, what kind of uh, logic or common sense or well, who's, who's, who's the English teacher? I don't know. <laughs> Can't find it, no blame. But, you know, it's the ignorance, arrogance, AI shit. And you see, if you want to be an AI, because arrogance and ignorance can get you programmed. Easily manipulated, and now you, you'll be trapped doing some, some work, struggling all your life for a little gain, and will get mad at other people while you just suffering yourself and blaming on everybody. Blame the world, but still following orders, social orders. Now well, that's the life. What was that? And that guy scared uh, something in me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of feeling like, oh, my electric current just like someone threw a, a big rock into the pond and made this ripple in me. That was a locust, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that was... That was a trister right there. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, but, um, yeah, this morning is just, it's just talking about love, you know. Love is, is, is power. It feels... Anything that you need power to do, apply love into it. Otherwise, you get paid doing it. <laughs> For money, if you love money too. To an extent. And to an extent. I was, we don't need money really. There's money, it's just, it's like you, you don't, you can't use it. I mean like it's, it, it's called stored energy. Like, like, like you, you, you put out the energy already. Now you getting, you getting a note saying that, okay. Uh, you you are pay you are owed this much energy. So you we basically we just exchanging energies in the paper note and the car currency and people they just using that that free will and then got to tariff and tax that uh, kind of middleman of money printing and all that. Oh uh, yeah. But you know, love is sort of be about about exchanging powers. Like I love to do that, but I don't love to do this. So I find someone that love to do this, and I do that for them. And that's how you exchange work. And I can grow watermelon, and I can't grow uh, I can't grow no dragon fruit. So I can go to Joe my coot <laughs> and give me a dragon fruit. That was for Joe my coot. <laughs> I don't know if you gonna hear this or not, but it's funny. <laughs> Joe, my coop, got my dragon fruit. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. I never met that guy, but I never met a lot of people online, but you know, they're they, they just people that you can really talk to. Or like, like people not even here, but connected up there. And then just don't lose connection here. I don't know. Me and my baby and uh, wife still sleeping, but. Uh, Morning breeze and all this nice, kind of full, and it's like, it's, wow, it's, it's like, you know, it's like the movie Riddick, when that guy's running, like half of them is, 
half the planet is burning on fire, half is so icy, and it, right in the edge, <coughs> right in the middle of it, is the, is the habdo zone, where it's just not too hot and not too cold. Yeah, like it's like right now, it's time right now. It feels like that before it gets too hot. <laughs> so I think you burn up and all mosquitoes come out and they're about like, be like you know, maybe that's why I'm so healthy because I keep bit up so much and, and, and they be they be vaccinating me or something. I don't know. Maybe they be like just just, just everywhere and, and they don't even affect me no more. I mean like, they take off my blood or something. No, I, I don't know. I mean, I think they, they empower me with the 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 venom. And sometimes that's the why the pain is what gets you the gain, the pleasure. It's gotta understand the pain to regain that pleasure and sustain it. Sustain means keep away from the pain after you know the pain and pleasure is to sustain it. It's not to be dealing with the same kind of pain again. All right, that's enough for today. And now, uh, this is Vincent, uh, Vincent Van, admin on Facebook. You know.